Hey there, this is Atul and in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the sample exam questions from AWS Solution Architect Associate C03 level. Now, I'm going to explain first the question and then once you understand the question, I want you to uh, think about an answer and leave it under a comment section before me explaining the answer or uh, giving you the answer um, and then look at leave a second comment on once you've understood whether your answer was right or wrong when i'm explaining this i'm going to give you some background as well about the topic uh, so that will help you in understanding these concepts well objective of this uh, video is not to just clear the exam or understand some or do the questions but also use that to learn aws as a cloud that's the whole objective of that and i'm going to give you some documentation at any point in time if you need any help if anything is not clear or if you have any other question don't hesitate to leave this as a comment i'll go through every comment and then we'll try to cover them in upcoming videos so let's read out the question two uh, question one i've co already covered in of the previous one of the previous videos the, it says that a media company running a photo sharing web application that is accessed across the three different countries so the application is running on aws which is accessed from three different companies or countries the applications deployed on several amazon ec2 instances so first of all you should know about ec2 i'll cover that in a minute running behind an application load balancer. So you need to know two things. One is what is EC2 and second is what is application load balancer. And if you know these things, maybe fast forward, but I'll explain you for some someone who is a beginner or have keep it high level. So what is an EC2 instance? EC2 instance is nothing but a virtual machine, which could be of type Windows or Linux typically, or typically Linux, but Windows, or you can have a Mac as well. And that EC2 on which you deploy your applications and to understand this load balancer what load balancer does it it as the name suggests it basically balances the load so request will come from a user and then load balancer will forward it to the the different EC2 instances which are configured here so there is an application load balancer there are different type of load balancers there's an application load balancer which is, runs on a HTTP layer um, layer 7 HTTP based load balancers. So the request will come to the user that will hit the load balancer which will forward it to those your EC2 instances. So that's what is configured here running behind a load balancer. Now with new government regulations the company was asked to block access from the two countries. Uh, so you block it the request is to uh, block it from two countries and allow access only from the one country which is a home country. So which configuration you will be able to do it first is configure aws waf on the application load balancer in vpc so for that you need to understand what is a waf which i'll explain you in a minute uh, and then it's saying configure this web on an application load balancer second is configure the security group on ec2 instance so for that you need to understand what is a security group that you can apply on ec2 third is use geo restriction features on amazon cloud front so then you need to understand a cloud front vpc is a virtual private cloud which is nothing but your networks here uh, and third thing is or fourth option is configure the security group so you need to understand what is a security group on the application load balancer i'm going to explain each of these right now here so based on that let me know leave in a comment whether what you think of right now without me explaining these topics a b c or d what will be the answer now let's look at once you have answered this let's look at the options what exactly this aws waf means so waf is nothing but a web application firewall i'm going to leave these links all these links in the, under the description below so you can read and click on more on these descriptions but i've done a free video about application of firewall in past so firewall waf does is basically it takes a request and basically and and you can configure the policies to restrict who should allow, who should access, who should not access. And there are different rules configured for, you can configure on the WAF. And one of the rules that's possible is about filtering based on the countries. There's also a rule. So this is again another documentation link from WAF to go more details. And you can restrict or rules based on different, different logic. And one of the rules logic is based on geographical matching rule. So this first option looks a little bit better to me because we are configuring WAF on an application load balancer 
which which is configured on a, a VPC. So I'm on this load balancer, which is configured here. I'll configure a WAF in on that in front of that with with this application load balancer, and restrict it based on this one of these geographical match rule content. So, but before we confirm that it's option A, we need to rule out B, C, and D. So the next question, next option is configure the security group for EC2. So what is a security group on EC2? So security group is nothing but a firewall which acts any incoming request of going out from an EC2 instance. So if you look at here in this diagram, this is my EC2's instances. So any request coming in or going out will be restricted by this firewall. But if you notice here, my users are coming to the load balancer and load balancer is forwarding request to the here into this EC2 two instances. So putting a firewall or restricting at a firewall level will not make any difference because request ultimately is coming from load balancer. Having said that, still in that uh, that option which is security group, security group can't access it or restrict it based on I, uh, based on a geographical location or the country. It can do it based on the IP, but not on based of based on the country. So we can rule out option number two. Option number C, which is a geo restriction feature on Amazon CloudFront. And for that, you need to understand what is CloudFront. So for that, on CloudFront, CloudFront is nothing but a content delivery network or CDN, which basically speed up your, uh, your website performance. It doesn't have any of those restrictions on to block any content based on a geographical location. So we can definitely rule out that CDN as an option here or this call the cloud front as an option. Fourth, which is configure the security group in the application load balancer. Again, same thing which I was talking about security group on a load balancer, but the security group doesn't have anything which is uh, so again, same security group, which is nothing but firewall. You're putting it based on the application load balancer, but the security group again, as I said, can restrict based on your IP addresses or, or but not in a geographical location. So based on that, all the options we see here, option A looks correct to me. So we'll be selecting option A. You can check it out. Again, this is a screenshot from K2 Academy portal, which is about inside the AWS solution architect program. Um, and if you want I'll, to know more about this, we'll, I'll be sharing a free class link inside the description below at the bottom of this. But let's wait for the answer. Well, this is one of hundreds of exam questions we cover in our AWS Solution Architect certification program. And if you want to see more such questions, you can check out this URL ktonacademy.com forward slash AWS SA07 with double S here. On this page, you will see more questions. You can even download these 25 sample exam questions that will help you to prepare for your AWS Solution Architect exam. So go to this URL, click on download now, enter your name, email address, and click on the button download now. You will soon get an email with these 25 sample questions. And if you have any additional question for me, leave them inside a comment section so we can answer those questions for you. With that, let's get back to our video. Yep, so if you look at the answer, that's correct. And there's an explanation. If you have access to this program, you should be able to see the descriptions which I've mentioned here. So with that, I hope that have given you a little bit more clarity explaining all these topics, including what is an EC2, what is an application load balancer, what is WAF, what is CloudFront and security group and why this option A is correct. If you have questions like this, if you want me to cover any other question that you need help with, leave them under comment section. Also let me know what you initially thought, does that match with the answer, the correct answer or not. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Atul and I'll see you in another video.